In a good early evening on this Saturday evening, we have some lake effect bands that are taking place. This is one of the more persistent ones. It's uh, cutting through parts of northern Vermont, and uh, it's leaving a trail or a coating of snow. And this is going to be cutting across uh, most of our area here, including uh, parts of Washington County, even getting into the areas that haven't seen a whole lot of snow, uh, down around Orange County and uh, so forth. The other lake effect band uh, coming off of Lake Ontario, streaming east, has produced 18 inches in areas around the Tug Hill Plateau. So uh, lake effect snows are something else, especially when they're so persistent. And uh, indeed, we have one that's moving. Uh, so it'll drop uh, probably a dusting to a couple of inches just about everywhere within the, uh, especially the higher terrain. Even some parts of the Champlain Valley could get in on this. Uh, with the northern areas most, uh, most vulnerable, as you get down toward Burlington, we'll see what it can do. We're looking at uh, temperatures right now, still in the Champlain Valley, just a little bit above the freezing mark, but those temperatures are going to come down now. And uh, we're already seeing 28 at Montpelier, 29 in uh, St. Johnsbury, 27 even up around Lindenville. looks like 26 now. So looking at the HRRR model, you can see where these lake effect bands are. This uh, particular one swirling in, mostly across uh, north-central Vermont, northern areas. And then uh, some additional lake effect will continue, it looks like, through about uh, midnight or so. Thereafter, very uh, light amounts expected, just uh, basically flurries, and uh, we'll get into better conditions as we get into the morning hours when uh, daybreak hits on Sunday. Roger Hill, Weathering Heights.